Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the history and language behind the words we use every day. If language and history are subjects you're interested in, please consider subscribing so you never miss a word. My name is Benjamin Lewis. Earlier I asked you for some input on the word religion and its relation to the state and government in general. So let's take a look at what I found out. Religion, noun, devotion to or veneration of a particular set of morals or a moral authority, usually of divine origin. History and etymology. The most distant origins of the word religion are disputed, to say the least. There seems to be three popular theories. Cicero had the idea that it came from the Latin word meaning to go through again, with the prefix re meaning again and legere meaning to read. Later, Thinkers such as Servius and Augustine preferred an origin for the word coming from relegere, to bind fast, related to words like rely. The idea is that it referred to the bond between men and the gods, or to being bound by an oath. Another possible etymology is related to the words religiens, which in Latin is the opposite of negligens, or in English, negligent. And in this case, the word religion meant to be careful. The present English definition that we're used to wasn't used until the 1300s, and the even more specific meaning relating to a higher power or gods wasn't common until the 1530s. My best guess as to which possibility is the correct etymology of the word religion is leaning towards the second one where it means to bind, or become bound to, either to gods or to an oath. In the ancient world, religion and politics were really almost one and the same. They were both about what bound yourself to your community, or to the people around you, to your nation, to your city. If you lived in a city, you were bound to the gods of that city. Generally, you were required to make a sacrifice to the patron god of that city, otherwise you would be in violation of local law. In many cases, you were bound to the leader of the country, or the nation, or the city, as if they were a god. Reviewing Field Research I recently asked you guys what you thought of the word religion and its relation to government and what it means these days. I got several good responses. The one I'm going to share with you right now is from Justin Trouble, a YouTuber that I enjoy watching, especially his coverage of Antifa and culture war subjects. So let's hear what he has to say about the present meaning of religion. As far as the deeper meaning of the word religion, that is a lot more difficult. I don't think you necessarily have to have a god or an afterlife, because after all, there are religions or at least branches of religions with no afterlife and no divine beings. You know, technically Buddhism doesn't have any divine beings, but it, practically speaking, most Buddhists worship, for all intents and purposes, a god, and, and sometimes, you know, multiple gods and goddesses. They don't really call them that. You know, saints and all that. Just like the Catholic uh, religion has saints that really fill the roles of a pagan pantheon, they just don't call them gods. But there, are, there is Zen, for example, and other religions that have no, at least parts of those religions, have no god, no divine, no afterlife. But they still all serve a certain function, something that connects us to something else. And it's that something else which is really hard to define, but I would say it, it does have a connection between our physical, local time and place, our physical self, this world, what we can see in here and all that and then something else, something transcendent. And perhaps uh, by definition, we can't actually define the transcendent because after all it is transcendent and it would transcend everything, including our ability to describe it with language. So that's my thoughts on it. Thanks for the opportunity to uh, express myself on this. Thank you, Justin, for your input into the word religion. And if anyone watching this is interested in hearing his full submission, I'm leaving a link in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or feel like you've learned something, please leave a like and share the video with a friend who you think might find it interesting. Make sure you subscribe on both BitChute and YouTube, and follow me on social media, both Alt Tech and the big corporate social media giants. Find the links in the description below. If you'd like to help support my channel, 
or this project, you can find links to my Subscribestar, Patreon, PayPal, and even a Bitcoin wallet in the description below as well. Again, thank you for watching, and until next time, keep on learning.